Before I start the video, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you guys that have gone ahead and subscribed to the channel. We are over 50 subscribers now, which is absolutely insane. Another thing I wanted to mention is that I do also have a Twitch channel, which I do stream on there from time to time, and it is OLVR underscore YT. So if you want to go ahead and follow that over there, that would be much appreciated. Let's get into the video. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel where today we are going to be checking out the new Haunted Hallows event here on Rocket League where we have a lot of challenges to do to unlock specific rewards related to this event. Uh, this is quite similar to the Just Gone Llama Rama event for Fortnite where you got to unlock the battle bus. But in this event, there doesn't seem to be anything of like battle bus level to unlock but... There are a few Ghostbusters related items that you can get from these challenges. Also, as you can see, I have the new... Well, it's not, it's not new actually, it's quite old. But if you look in the item shop, the Ecto-1 car is now available. And I must say, it looks atrocious. <laughs> it's like... It looks like a hearse. Which is what you put dead people in. Quite fitting for the Halloween theme. But it just looks... Insane. I have I would I have no idea what hitbox this thing has. If I had to guess... I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Because the front of it is so flat and like the back is so bulky. I, I don't, I have no idea what hitbox this thing would have. But we're going to jump in to the also the new limited time mode, which is Haunted Heat Seeker. So we're going to try it out and see how it goes. All right, so playing in uh, Haunted Heat Seeker here in the new... I'm assuming this is like part of the theme. We've got a nice pink and green team colors theme going on here. Uh, it looks pretty cool, if I'm being completely honest with you. I haven't... I haven't played Heat Seeker all that much when it came out, uh, when it actually first came out, but I do have a little bit of experience with it, I'm not going to lie. So we'll just see how we get on. That was close. So I do actually believe in Heat Seeker, if you like, if you, if you keep a long enough rally like the ball reaches max speed which is like it, don't, it doesn't get any faster than that after that I'm pretty sure that was an incredible save so um that was also very close also correct me if I'm wrong but I don't think heat seeker was uh, ever a 3v3 game mode when it first came out I'm pretty sure it was only 2v2 I might be wrong on that but I'm pretty sure it was a 2v2 game mode. Wow, this guy's going for redirects. I've got to give it to the new uh, Ecto-1 car, though. It, does, it doesn't seem bad. It feels quite natural to control, if I'm being completely honest. That was very close. Hey, we get a goal there. Nice. We had a teammate bumping up there on the uh, the opponent's side, which is actually a very good strategy if you've never played Heat Seeker before. Gotta watch out for this guy's redirects. Could go anywhere. Ball's getting quite fast now. It's going over, I think. And it is. Is that good? Oh, so close. Ah, oh, you got a nice redirect. Alright, so we've checked out the new uh, limited time mode here. So we're just going to check, uh, jump into some casual games and see if we can get most of these challenges done. So if we look here, we've already actually, we've already done one of the challenges and we get a, a pretty cool looking Ghostbusters banner. I would never use it myself because it, I mean, it's pretty cool for the event, but it's not something I would go for. Alright, so trying this game out in casual, it 
it honestly doesn't feel like a bad card to use. Like, its appearance is very deceiving. Like, the hitbox and the actual feel of the car itself does not feel bad at all. Like, when I first used the Battle Bus, uh, it, it felt very clunky. And it just didn't seem like a very viable car to use. But this, on the other hand, it just feels... It feels natural. I don't know what, what to say about it, really. Whether maybe that's the hitbox it uses. But it just feels natural. It feels really good. So we've done another challenge here, which was the 10 saves or epic saves in online matches. And we get a nice, cute little stay puffed topper. I think that's the that's the dude in the goal explosion that I thought that would be part of this uh, event, but it sadly isn't. You know, you know the one. You know what the one I'm talking about. Let's try something cool here. Maybe a breezy flick. Oh, so close. Yeah, I'd definitely say, if I had to guess, this thing would probably might be using the Dominus hitbox. Or if it's just a, uh, a what do you call it? A DLC hitbox, like exclusive to this car. Then I've got to say they did a, a pretty good job with it. Not going to lie. That was terrible, but it's the car feels really good. Just trying this thing out in training, just to see what it'd be like... To go for a flip reset in this thing. Just to see what the hitbox and the um, the aerial behavior of it's like. But it, it, it seems alright, to be honest. If I had to give this car a rating out of 10. Based on first impressions, I'd probably give it about an 8. I'll explain why I'd give it an 8. is because as weird as the car looks. And how clunky it looks. It's actually surprisingly easy to control in the air and on the ground. Its hitbox is something you'd have to get used to because I'd say it is a very long car and it's quite flat at the front so the hitbox may take a little getting used to but I'd definitely say this is a viable car to actually use like in competitive compared to like other event cars that we've had that just don't seem necessary in the game. I mean, they look cool and everything, but they don't actually do a lot for the whole gameplay side of things. That was nice. When it comes to using this car in the air, it, just, it definitely does take a little bit getting used to. The old um, maneuvering the car in the air, like air rolling it and stuff, and finding the right place to get flip resets. It will take getting used to, definitely, but it's very... I'm not going to lie, This I'm very impressed with this car. And it's the same story on the floor as it is in the air with this car. Like, I'm not very good at breezy flicks, but this car makes it look easy. Look at that flick! Yeah, this car's hitbox is, like, yeah, absolutely insane. Alright, guys, this is going to be it for that little insight into the new Haunted Hallows event in Rocket League. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Also, hit that subscribe button. You guys are doing amazing. And, yeah, so that's pretty much going to be the end of the video. I've been Oliver. That is OLVR. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.